So today I'm breaking down Kenny Wayne Shepherd's One Foot on the Path, uh, I'm, and I'm looking at the main solo. So I'm breaking down the main solo. I'm gonna warn you, there's a lot of notes in this uh, solo, and there's a lot of repetition, okay? So if you're used to playing Steve Ray Vaughan, this is gonna be a walk in the park for you. Uh, if not, uh, what I recommend is having the actual song itself. Uh, it's off of one of his old albums. Um, make sure that you, when you learn the solo, you actually match each phrase with the song. Uh, I highly recommend downloading an app called AnyTune Pro and using that, slowing down the song to about 50%, um, and then once you have each part memorized, increasing the speed. Let's break down the solo. Good luck. All right, here's a solo breakdown for Kenny Wayne Shepherd's One Foot on the Path. Uh, it's, it's a pretty long solo. We're going to do it uh, in, in small chunks. Uh, there's about uh, 10 or 11 of them. Let's look at the very first chunk. I'll play it and then I'll break it down for you. Okay, so we're going to start with, with the B string 5. And then we're going to bend 8 on the B string. It's kind of like a, like a slow bend. Hit 5 on the high E string. Go back to 8 and do a pull off from the B string 8 to 5. We're then going to do a, um, a barred slide. So we're, we're going we're gonna to cover 8 and 8 on the G and B string. And we're going to pick those two and slide down to 7. We're going to do it again. But this time, after the slide is done, we're going to pull off to 5 on the G string. Okay. We're going to pull off from 7 to 5 on the D string, hit 7 on the D string. We're going to go down to the G string 5 and do a blues curl. Do a pull off from 7 to 5 on the D string again. Back to 7 on the D string. Back to the G string, blues curl 5. Back to 7 on the D string, 5. And then 7. That's our first phrase. Here's section number two. Okay, so we're gonna start with a with a bend on the G string seven. It's a, it's actually a fast bend. I'm gonna hit five on the B string, five on the high E string. I'm gonna bend eight on the B string, five on the high E string. Pull off from 8 to 5 on the, on the B string. Bend again 7 on the G string. 5 on the B string, 5 on the high E string. Pull off again from 8 to 5 on the B string. We're going to do a bend release um, on 7 on the G string. We're going to hit 5 on the G string and 7 on the D string. We're going to finger roll down and do a uh, double stop here. So it's going to be, we're going to cover seven on the G string, seven on the B string. And then we're going to hit five on the G string and five on the B string. This, this part's very fast, by the way. And then we're going to hit seven on the D string, five on the D string, and back to seven on the D string. So the hand positioning is a bit weird on this one. Uh, we're going to start on the G string seven, and we're going to slide that to nine. Once we get there, we're gonna, our middle finger is gonna hit the B string eight. We're then gonna jump up, and then we're gonna slide from eight on the G string to nine with our middle finger. And then we're gonna hit eight with our index finger. We're gonna do that a total of four times. After the fourth time, we're gonna slide from nine to 10 with our middle finger on the G string. And then we're gonna hit nine on the B string, and then we're gonna slide from 10 to 11 on the G string. And then we're gonna hit 10 on the B string. Okay, so here's the next part. So keep in mind that a lot of these parts are like really connected together. Like the, the section that we did before, it's, 
It's it's it's, it's like one whole big phrase. Um, and uh, to, in order to teach this, I have to break it down. So. Well, when you're going through it, make sure that you use the recording uh, to kind of see how everything fits together, okay? So let's break down this, this section. I'm going to start with 11 on the G string. I'm going to hit 12 on the high E string. 11, 10. We're going to do a small bend on 13. 10 on the B string. 11 on the G string. Back to 10 on the B string. We're going to do a bend on 12. High E string 10, 12 on the high E string. We're gonna jump down and we're gonna do a hammer on from eight to nine on the high E string. Hit 10 on the B string, back to eight on the B string and then 10 again. Here's the next part. So here's our classic Stevie Ray Vaughan riff. Um, actually, it's a classic BB uh, King riff, um, but Stevie Ray Vaughan uses it all the time. Uh, hence, uh, that means Kenny Wayne Shepard is going to be using it all the time too as well. So here's what we do: put our index finger on eight, and then we're going to do a combination pull off slide on the B string. We're going to pull off from ten to eight and slide down to five. So it's like a pull off from ten to eight. We don't pick it again, and we slide down to five. When we get there, we finger roll down to the high E string five. And then we're gonna do a bend release pull up. So with the bend release pull up is, is on seven on the G string. We bend, release, and we pull off to five on the G string. We do another pull off from seven to five on the G string. A pull off from the seven to five on the D string. And then hit seven. Here's the next part. It's just going back to the main intro riff. Okay, so for this part, um, like I said, it's just the main intro riff. We're gonna do, I'm gonna cover five and five on the G and B. We're gonna pick those two and hammer on six onto the G string. Then I'm gonna hit seven on the D string, a quick mute, and then we're gonna hit five on the high E string and B string, and then eight on the B string. We're gonna do a bend release, and then a blues curl on five on the G string. Sorry, that bend release was, um, was on seven, seven G string, and then five G string, blues curl bend, seven on the D string, and then repeat the riff again. And there, and then we go to the next part. Here is the next part. Okay, so let's break it down. Uh, we're gonna start by bending on eight on the B string, hit five on the high E string, do a pull off from eight to five on the B string, a bend release pull off on the G string seven to five, do another pull off from seven to five, go to the D string, do a pull off from seven to five twice, go to the A string seven and slide up to nine. Hit seven on the D string, their index finger. Go back to nine on the A string. Go back to seven on the D string. Do a full step bend here on nine uh, on the, uh, sorry, it's a step and a half. A step and a half bend here on nine on the G string. Go back to nine on the G string. Eight, seven, blues curl on five. Here's the next part. So we're gonna start this part by doing um, a pull off from seven to five twice on the D string. We're gonna hammer on on the G string from five to six. 
and then hit five on the high E string. Do a full step bend on the B string eight. Hit five on the high E string. And do a pull off from eight to five on the B string. I'm gonna do a combination slide pull off on the G string, eight, seven, five. So slide from eight to seven, pull off to five. After that, we're gonna do a, another pull off from seven to five on the G string. I'm gonna do two pull offs on the D string, seven to five. I'm gonna do a double stop bend on five on the G string and five on the B string, just a blues curl. Go back to D string seven uh, and do a pull off to five. And then finally D string seven. Here's the next part. Okay, so like I was saying, some of these parts are just like super long, so I had to cut off a, a, a chunk of the last section, uh, and uh, it's kind of mixed up with the next section. This is what it looks like. It looks like uh, we're gonna bend on the G string five, a blues curl. I'm gonna do a pull off from seven to five on the D string twice. We're then gonna slide up to 11 with our middle finger on the G string. 10 on the B string, back to 11 on the G string. And then we'll do a bend here on 12 on the B string. Hammer on pull off combination from 10, 12, 10 on the B string. Back to 11 on the G string. Back to 10 on the B string. Back to 11 on the G string. Back to 10 on the B string. Do another bend on 12 on the B string. Hammer on pull off combination again on the B string. Oops. I hit 11 on the G string, 10 on the B string. Okay, so that, that section again was a little weird. Uh, looks like this. Okay, here's the next part. So this starts off with a, uh, a bend on the 12th fret high E string. And then we hit 12 back in the natural position. 10 on the high E string. We're gonna do a bend on 12 on the B string. A hammer on pull off combination from 10 to 12 back to 10 on the B string. Hit the G string 11, back to the B string 10, and then 12th fret uh, bend on the B string and slide down. We have another part here. We're gonna slide back up again um, from uh, 211 on the G string. Hit 10 on the B string, back to 11 on the G string. Hit 12 on the high E string, 11, 10. Small blues curl on B string 13. Hit 10 on the B string, 11 on the G string. Hit 10 on the B string again. Do another bend on the B string 12. High E string 10, high E string 12. And that connects to our next part. And it's gonna look like this. So for this part, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a hammer on from eight to nine on the high E string. Hit the B string 10, B string eight, B string 10, high E string eight. And then we have our, our same combination pull off slide we had before. 10 to 8 to 5. We're gonna hit 5 with the finger roll on the high E string, and then we're gonna do um, three blues curls on 8 on the high E string. Hit 5 on the high E string, 7 on the high E string, back to 5, go to the B string, do a full step bend, hit 5 on the high E string, and then a pull off from 8 to 5 on the B string. 
Okay, here's the next part. Okay, so we're gonna start this part with a, a G string bend on seven, a full step. Five on the B string, five on the high E string. Do a pull off from eight to five on the B string. On the G string, we're gonna do a, uh, a bend and release pull off to five. So G string seven and pull off to five. We're gonna hit the D string seven twice, back to five on the G string. Pull off from seven to five on the D string twice in a row. We're then gonna hit seven on the A string, six on the A string, five, four, and then on the D string, we're gonna end that with seven. Here's the next part. Okay, so we're going back to the main riff kind of, and mixing it up with some other stuff. We're gonna start with uh, five and five on the G string and B string. We're gonna pick those two and hammer on to six on the G string. We're then gonna do a double stop bend and pull off. Okay, so it's gonna be uh, seven on the G string, seven on the B string. We're gonna bend that up and then we're gonna pull off to double five, okay? I'm gonna go back to double seven, hit double five one more time. Gonna pick seven on the D string, five on the D string, back to seven on the D string. Gonna hit the A string open. Do a hammer on from five to six on the G string. A mute. You're gonna hit double five on the B string and high E string. And then hit eight on the B string. Okay, here's our final uh, section of the solo. So we're gonna start that with a hammer on from five to seven on the B string. High E string um, five, back to seven. A full step bend on seven on the high E string. We're gonna pick five on the high E string, seven, and then do a pull off, a hammer on pull off combination five, seven, five. We're gonna bend on the B string eight. Hit the high E string, five. Do a pull off from eight to five on the B string. And then on seven on the G string, we have a uh, bend release pull off combination to five on the G string. Another pull off from seven to five on the G string. I'm gonna go up to the D string and do a pull off from seven to five. We're gonna hit seven again on the D string, a blues curl on five on the G string. Gonna do seven to five pull off again on the D string. Gonna slide from seven on the A string to nine. Hit seven on the D string. And then finally finish with the A string open. At this point, it just goes back to, which is the main riff.